Hello everybody and welcome to Arganian's Puzzle Box. Um, have you ever wondered why displacement quality and Substance Alchemist is so much better compared to Substance Painter when you import your model? Well, today I'm going to show you how the geometry of your model affects the quality of the displacement setting in Substance Painter and what settings we can actually change to achieve the best outcome between performance and looks. So stay tuned and I'll show you in just a second. So I have created and loaded two objects in Substance Painter, a sphere and a plane, to demonstrate the um, uh, displacement uh, mapping. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go into the shader settings and start to act well, activate the displacement and tessellation. Uh, we've got to set it to height, uh, not displacement as I don't have the map loaded in, but it's not really a problem. Uh, you can put the scale to 0 0.02, keep the sub subdivision mode to uniform, and take the subdivision count to the maximum for a better result. Uh, now we're going to load our texture on top of the, of the model. You can see the wireframe there as I'm, as I'm adding it. Um, this is how the model looks like at 0 0.02 scale and a maximum um, subdivision count. It's not ideal, but it's um, it, it's not it's not um, it's not it's not completely bad. We can take it to zero point zero one, which will then increase our quality a bit. But then that means that we've lost some of that height information. Or we could take it back to zero point zero two, and go to the texture settings and put the scale of the material to one, which will then make it so that the the texture looks uh, very very uh, well on the on the mesh. And this is on a, a very low geometry uh, model. Now, if we go to the plane low, um, we'll add, we'll do the same thing. We'll add the texture in, and, and this is the this is the result. So it doesn't look very well. It did a lot better on the on the sphere, but the plane is just completely broken. Uh, we'll take the um, scale to uh, one again. Which then will give us a bit of better result, but the height is all, the height information is all wrong. There's not enough geometry to back it up. We can take the scale to 0 0.01, but you know it's almost flat, and the the effect is almost uh, pointless. Now, what we could do is we could go into the uh, uh, display settings and um, activate shadows just to see if that gives us a bit more depth. And that's what it looks like with shadows. It is a bit better, but nothing, nothing uh, major. Right. So I'm just going to deactivate shadows and move on to the uh, sphere medium. Uh, let's have a look how that will um, how that will react. Uh, let me just select it as well. I'm going to drag the uh, material again. You can see the polygon polygon count on it, which is a lot higher than before. So now that the material is loaded in. Uh, we'll take the uh, scale of displacement to 0 0.03 this time. I think we can. Uh, I think we can afford doing that. Um, so that's at 0 0.03. It does start to create some weird uh, distortions. But if we take the material scale to one, then the result is almost um, yeah, perfect. I would say. If we deactivate the medium and go to the plane medium and try on on that see how that uh, looks like we'll uh, throw the material in there again we've got a bit of a problem now with the um, because of the scale of the material and being at 0 0.01 displacement we'll put the scale of the material to 1 which then gives us a I would say a perfect result on the height information if we would take the height scale to 0 0.02, you can get a better result and so on, as you can imagine. Uh, we could probably go higher to um, 0 0.04 and see if that works. And it, it does. It's, it's not bad. I mean, there's a lot of height information in here uh, on plain medium. Right, if we deactivate that and now go to the sphere high, uh, hopefully this will not crash my system as there's quite a lot of polygons in there and the substance paint that is not necessarily a tool to run with with such a uh, huge amount of polygons. So I've selected the sphere high, I'm going to drag the material in, the poly count level is off the charts in here and this is what it looks like, it's a 0 0.04 uh, with a tile scale to 1 
if we put uh, sorry to three if we put that to one it should look a lot better and yeah you know at 0 0.04 the, the sphere looks uh, very very good you can see some distortions on the side um, let's load up the um, plane high so the same thing drop the material in uh, 0 0.04 with a material size of uh, with, with the scale of the UV to, to 3 let's take that to 1 and yeah this is the result that we get um, but it's not it's not a massive improvement over the uh, over the medium uh, mesh I would say so let's just deactivate the plane high let's activate the um, plane low again so you can have a look at this texture so this is what it was We'll take this to the setting of 0 0.02, which is the most balanced one, I would say, of the bunch. So that's at 0 0.02 with the scale of 1 on the material, right? So we've given this the best chances of, of looking good. If we deactivate the plane low and we go to, uh, we go to the plane medium, um, and we're, at the, we're on the same setting, 0 0.02, 0, uh, and, and 1 on the scale of, of the material, you can see the difference between the low and the medium yeah so the geometry plays a big factor into getting a better displacement as I've said you can take the scale of the plane medium to 0 0.03 um, oh sorry that's not what I wanted 0 0.03 and it will still look very good and, and very much so you know useful um, in, in your designs um, so yeah, basically that's um, th that's my breakdown of um, how the geometry affects uh, the quality of the displacement uh, map. Um, I'm, I'm, I hope this video has been useful to you guys, and, and you can now understand what is the balance between uh, performance and looks. Uh, I would definitely go for the medium mesh in this situation. Um, so yeah, if you, if you like the video, um, uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.